Hey, I'm John Cannell, and today on Preppy Kitchen, we're making some amazing lemon crinkle cookies. So let's get started. First up, I want one cup or 200 grams of granulated sugar into a large bowl. Sugar is nice, but we're gonna make it amazing with lemon zest. Let's grab one to two lemons, and we're gonna zest this up. Personally, I read one tablespoon of lemon zest as the zest of two lemons, but you could add one if that's what you prefer. Tap that in. Whenever you have lemon in a recipe, do not forget the zest. If you go to a lemon lover's house, you will see naked lemons all over the place because they're delicious in basically everything. I also want half a teaspoon of salt. This gives me some balance in this. And now it's the fun part. Use your clean hands and we're gonna work the lemon zest into the sugar. And the sugar has a sandy consistency, so it's going to abrade the lemon zest and just work some of the oil out. This white sugar is gonna turn the most beautiful light pastel color as it's infused with all the oil from the zest. This is a very relaxing and therapeutic thing to do, by the way, you're just like, lemon smells, it's like very tactile. You gotta do this. Give those lemons a nice roll just to release some of the juice and then Give those a slice, and I need about a quarter cup of lemon juice, that's 60 mils. No seeds, please. I should say, I need exactly one quarter cup of lemon juice, that's 60 milliliters. It's basically the juice of the biggest, juiciest lemon ever, or one and a half lemons. <laughs> Fun fact, the acid in lemon juice basically melts marble, so be careful if that's your countertop type. Wipe, 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 <laughs> clean, clean, clean. Into my sugar, I'm adding two room temperature eggs. Oh my gosh, that color. I love a nice yolk. If you have chickens at home, you can, of course, let them roam free, eat all the bugs, but you can also feed them, what are those, or marigolds. You can give them like marigolds in their food and it helps make a really yellow, amazing yolk. One half of a cup of melted unsalted butter. It's 113 grams. So these lemon crinkle cookies are like, lemony, amazing, but they have that wonderful fudgy consistency that normal crinkle cookies have. There's a trade-off with that. One, oh my gosh, this tastes amazing. I love the texture, but it doesn't happen immediately. They need to chill at least four hours, but I would just do it overnight. Make this ahead of time, have it all prepped out, and then you can roll them and bake them off as you need. Quarter cup of lemon juice. Already you can see, this looks nothing like a normal cookie dough. It's just pure liquid. Yes, we're gonna add the flour, but it definitely needs that chill time so that it doesn't melt in the oven into a giant puddle and the flavors really like, the flavors will intensify and really work together with that additional time. I'm also adding in a teaspoon of vanilla. If you don't want to, you could skip it. They'd still be delicious, but I love vanilla and lemon together. Set this aside, grab a smaller bowl. We're gonna get the flour together. We really just have to mix the flour and the baking soda together, but nobody wants a giant bite of baking soda. It needs to be well distributed. So into a smaller bowl, two and a third cups or 280 grams of all-purpose flour and half a teaspoon of baking soda. Baking soda needs an acid to react to so it can reach its full potential, really make things a little bit more leavened. The acid, of course, is coming from the lemon juice in this case, but in your baking adventures, you'll find a lot of different acids like brown sugar, cocoa powder, things that you wouldn't think of as acidic, but they do react with baking soda, even buttermilk. Whisk that up so it's nice and combined. And now we're gonna pour the dry ingredients into our amazing lemon mixture and just fold it together. Be very gentle. You want these to be fudgy, melt in your mouth amazing, and we just don't want to activate the gluten in the flour and overwork the batter. A simple fold with your spatula is all you need. You just want to see the flour disappear, and as soon as that happens, you can stop, you're all done. These have like a really nice kind of like natural lemon color, especially if you have amazing yolks. If you want to amp it up, you can add a couple drops of food coloring or even a little bit of turmeric. That'll give you a little boost of color. Turmeric. My mom says turmeric. When both your parents are immigrants, you have a couple of mispronunciations. It's a seep in and you have no idea you're saying things incorrectly. Let me know which one's right. I have no idea. Anyhow, this is nice and mixed in. 
cannot wait to make this into cookies. But for now, I'm gonna wrap it up, pop it into the fridge, and we'll be back tomorrow in an instant. One day later, my cookie dough is all set up nice and firm. In the medium bowl, I'm adding about three quarters of a cup of powdered sugar. It's not exact because it's just for rolling. <gasps> tap, tap, tap. It's not coming out, but I know if I force it, it'll go. <laughs> Ideally, you'll have two baking sheets lined with parchment paper or silpats and a one and a half tablespoon triggered scoop. You could also use heaping tablespoons and just roll the balls. It doesn't really matter. So now, ooh, how pretty that is. Now we're gonna scoop our dough. Oh, it's still so soft. That's how you know it's gonna be delicious. Give it a quick roll. And then we're going to roll this in powdered sugar. And the secret to crinkle cookies is a double roll of powdered sugar. So you're gonna do one roll right now, and then maybe one roll later, we'll see. If you dust your hands with powdered sugar, you won't have as much of a mess. Like I said earlier, this dough, it's really like fudgy and melt in your mouth, but that means it's so soft. So be very gentle with it, and you wanna work quickly. We're gonna do these cookies 12 at a time, and it doesn't hang out in the refrigerator between bakes. If you want, you can freeze the unbaked cookies at this stage, rolled in powdered sugar. When you're ready to bake, just roll them one more time because the powdered sugar will all disappear, and then bake them off. I'm making these lemon crinkle cookies for the channel because I had a request from one of my viewers. They asked for these cookies after seeing my regular fudgy crinkle cookies, which are also amazing, by the way. Very happy to oblige because I love lemon everything. If you take a look, you can see the cookies I rolled first are already absorbing the powdered sugar, which means when you bake them, they're not gonna have that crinkle look. They'll be kind of just yellow colored, which is fine, but we want the contrast. So before going into the oven, you're gonna give your cookies one final roll with like a lot of powdered sugar on top. If you want to have the most contrast, if you don't care, don't bother. That's all melting away. So just a nice heaping batch of powdered sugar on top. Just for fun, I'm putting the second batch into the freezer for 15 minutes and then baking it. I wanna see if it affects the spread or the pattern on top at all. These lemon crinkle cookies are ready to go into the oven, 350 for 12 to 14 minutes, and you'll see that signature crinkle look and the bottoms are just starting to take some color. In you go. So the cookies basically came out the same. My little white patches are a little bit larger on the frozen batch. It doesn't really make much of a difference in the taste or consistency though. I've been waiting for these cookies for two days. It's time for a bite. Mm. That melts in your mouth. It's so full of lemon flavor. It's zingy and amazing. I hope you get a chance to make this recipe and if you like this video, check out my cookie playlist.